Hey, what's up? How you doing, everyone? It's James Romero here at Switch Watch, your home for everything Nintendo Switch related. I'm back today with another review, and this one is Sushi Striker, The Way of Sushido. This game's been developed by Indie Zero and has been published by Nintendo. The guys over there gave us this copy for review purposes, so thank you very, very much. As always, we want to find out if this one's worth your hard-earned cash. Let's jump in and find out. Sushi Striker The Way of Sushido is a new Nintendo IP that is quirky, colourful and frantic. You play as Musashi, an orphan boy or girl whose parents were lost in the bitter sushi struggles that devastated the land. The Republic won this battle and as a result had complete control of sushi. No one outside of its ranks can eat the forbidden morsels. The game's premise is bleak and yet not too serious. Your journey from orphan to Sushi Striker, one who is selected by the sushi sprites, plays out in an anime scene from the get-go. Sushi sprites are Pokemon style cute characters that grant you the power to battle it out by munching on sushi and throwing the empty plates at your enemies. The quest is twofold. The first is to bring sushi to all across the land and the second is to rescue the sushi striker that helped you which puts you in direct conflict with the evil republic. This story is cheesy and light-hearted but it's done well and is helped by the excellent art style, voice acting and epic scenes along the way. Sushi Striker at its core is a simple chain matching game with similarities to games like Candy Crush but at a much faster pace. The game's main feature is its 200 strong levels. In each battle there are three lanes in alternating directions on your side of the battlefield and your opponent has the same setup on their side with a shared lane in between both players. On these lanes there are different coloured sushi plates and your objective is to link chains of the same coloured plates together in the 7 seconds you have per chain. Creating a chain stacks up the empty plates in front of you and flinging these plates at your opponent causes them damage with the first player whose life drops down to zero losing the battle. My initial thoughts after a couple of levels was this is nuts but quite a fun simple game. But like all good addictive games, the layers are added and before you know it, it's 3 in the morning and you're slinging sushi like a boss. Different coloured plates do different amounts of damage and chaining combos leads to higher scores and quicker recharging of your sprite special skills. As you get further, you are able to assemble a squad of three different sushi sprites, each with different stats that affect your health and each with a unique skill that can be used when charged, affecting the flow of battle. Combining a solid squad in order to be the best sushi striker possible also includes levelling up your individual sushi by eating them and unlocking a unique trait. The number of details and layers is absurd for such a fast paced game and yet they all work and are added at a great pace. Sushi striker the way of Sushido can be played using a Joy-Con or Pro Controller and I found the controls work very well for the most part. Using the joystick to create chains is accurate and the buttons to unleash your sprite attacks easy to remember as well as filling plates. The only part of this scheme that's slightly fiddly is the initial selection of a plate. You can also play using the touchscreen and this certainly feels natural, linking chain to the swipe of your finger and pressing the skills on the screen. That said, over a longer playtime the switch can be a little unwieldy to hold with one hand. Either control scheme is good but neither is quite perfect. Originally the game was intended just for the 3DS and it makes sense that you can play this with a stylus on that platform and the factor is a little bit smaller. The campaign is set over five regions, each with 30 of main levels and some number of hidden levels as well. The difficulty ramps over time but I never felt the need to really grind out levels. As well as the main campaign there is also a puzzle mode which is fiendish. You have 10 seconds in which to figure out the right order to create chains, clearing all colours in a set number of moves. Multiplayer is here, but interestingly unlocked at the beginning. Local multiplayer pits you against each other on a single screen which leaves the further player at a severe disadvantage. Online play offers the chance to play against others in an even battle. Both teams are temporarily matched in level, but there is not a whole lot here to keep you grinding online. On 
While loading up the game, you are blasted with an epic theme song which is ridiculously sung about sushi and the struggles in the game. It has no business being as good and catchy as it is. All in all, there are 20 tracks for this game and the production value is excellent. Similarly to Breakfast's Battle, the catchy tunes elevate the gameplay and get you into a rhythm. It's not just the songs that are great, the dubbed voiceovers during cutscenes is really good and I felt like I was watching a fully fledged anime at these times. Outside of the clips, some lines are spoken to keep the entertainment up, which works rather well. In battle, there are a few frantic sound effects for plate stacking and slinging, but it's the background tracks that really get you going. Along with the audio, the visuals during the intro are fantastic. It's like watching an anime series aimed at youngsters, but this doesn't detract. It's a style that works well for the game, and is kept throughout. As you progress, there are a number of these clips to sit back and enjoy. Battles themselves take place in a very simple setting. Nothing detracts the eye from lanes, which is as it should be. After all, it's a fast-paced action game that requires concentration. Colours are used to maximum effect and everything pops out. The graphic detail is not particularly high, but in my opinion, it doesn't need to be, and this is an added bonus of strong performance. I experienced no slowdown throughout my time with the game at all. Sushi Striker in the way of Sushido oozes style character. At $34.99 in the UK and $49.99 in the US, this is expensive for this type of game. There are 200 levels in the campaign as well as multiplayer in a puzzle mode to keep you entertained. The story and style are excellent along with voice acting, but it is hard to justify the extra £10 in cost when compared to the 3DS version without any additional features. Overall, Sushi Striker The Way of Sushido is an extremely addictive and fun puzzle game with more depth than first expected. It revels in its quirkiness and is supported by strong visuals and an excellent soundtrack. Multiplayer is a little bit lacking and the value is hard to justify, but overall it's a solid game with bags of character and a very respectable 7.5 out of 10. That's it from me today, I hope you've enjoyed this one. If it's your first time here and you want to stay up to date with everything Nintendo Switch related, we'd love it if you considered subscribing. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And if you picked this one up, let us know what you think. I'll see you again soon. Take care.